details now as a Georgetown family says they're angry after a judge sentenced a man who killed their loved one to just 10 years in prison. Our Ali Espinosa explains why they believe the court robbed them of justice. It's very frustrating. It's heartbreaking. More than three years later, Harry Barkley's murder case is closed. But it's the ending that's shocking his surviving family members. The 35 year old initially went missing in 2020. Police didn't find his remains until nearly a year later in a wooded area in Williamsburg County. Very humble. Very humble. Now he gives somebody a shirt off his back if they needed it. Very quiet. And he just got involved with the wrong kind of people. Last week, Eric Hempel took an Alfred plea to accessory after the fact of murder, meaning he's not admitting to guilt, but acknowledges there is enough evidence to find him guilty. Police also arrested Shelby Ashby in connection to Barkley's death. However, she died of an overdose at the Georgetown County Detention Center just last month. They said without her testimony, they didn't have much of a case, and I just don't get it. Now left to make sense of it all, Barkley's family tells me his case should have been handled differently. They say he deserved a lot more than what he got. I worry about my sister all the time with her going through this. But I mean, all we could do is just move forward and let the good Lord take care of it. Temple will now spend the next 10 years in prison. He still has pending charges in Williamsburg County where Barkley's remains were found. However, it's not clear how or when those charges will be dealt with. In Georgetown, Ali Espinosa, WMBF News.